Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting a video on a procedure for adding or subtracting rational expressions. I want you to think back for a moment to the fourth grade when you probably learned about adding and subtracting fractions. In order for you to have done that, you needed to have what's called a least common denominator. And the same thing applies when you're dealing with algebraic fractions, which is what this whole next section in our book is about. So we're going to practice doing that in this video here through four examples. Let's start by giving you the definition of what an LCD is. An LCD is the product of the maximum number of occurrences of all distinct factors of the denominator. Determine the LCD of each set of fractions below. So in number one, they're giving us three fractions. Uh, so let's seek out the LCD of these three fractions. Well, the first factor that I notice that exists is the factor two. So I'm going to write down the number 2. And now I want to consider the exponents of each of these occurrences of 2. So I have the exponent 3 and I have the exponent 1. Well, I want to write down the maximum occurrences, so I'm going to write down the number 3 because that is the largest power. Now I'm going to look for other factors. Well, besides the factor of 2 in the denominator, there's also a factor of 3. And that happens here here, and again at the end. So I'm going to write down a 3 here. Now I'm going to figure out what is the largest power of any of these 3's. Well I've got the power of 1 here, I've got the power of 2 here, and then I've got the power of 1 again here. The largest power that I see for any of those 3's is a 2. Now there's one more factor left and that's 5, so I'm going to go ahead and write 5 down here and its power is 1. So this is my LCD, but I'm going to multiply these numbers together. So what I really have is 8 times 9 times 5. The 8 and the 9 give us a 40, so we have 40 times 9 for a product of 360. So 360 is our LCD for these three fractions if they were added or subtracted together. Let's take a look at example two. This time in example two we don't have any numbers but we just have algebra factors. Let's seek out the LCD. Well one of the factors is x and that happens here in the front and it happens here on the last fraction. So I'm going to write down x. And if I look at the powers of x, I've got x to the first, and I've got x to the third. Well, the three wins because it is the largest power. Scanning through the denominators, I have another factor, and that is x minus 1. And I have it here, and I have it here. So I'm going to go ahead and write down x minus 1. And now as I scope out the powers of x minus 1, I've got the power 2, and I've got the power of 1. Well, 2 beats 1, so 2 is the largest power that I have. Now finally, I've got this x plus 1, so I'm going to go ahead and write down x plus 1. And its power is 1. And it's one of a kind, so I don't have to consider any other powers. So this is the LCD for this second example, x cubed times x minus 1 quantity squared times x plus 1. Let's go to the next slide where we have two additional examples. Okay, in example 3 they're asking us to find the LCD given four fractions. Now this time it's a little bit more challenging because the denominators are not factored so it's much more difficult to figure out what the LCD is when the denominators are not factored. So I'm going to do a quick prime factorization on each of these denominators, starting with 9. Now 9 is the same as 3 squared. 12 is the same as 4 times 3, or 2 squared times 3. 8 is 2 cubed. And 25 is 5 squared. So what I've just done is a prime factorization on each of the values 
in the denominators of the fractions. And now I can pretty easily construct the LCD. So the first factor that I see is a 2. So I'm going to write down 2. And the largest power that I see is a 3. Now, the next factor that I see is a 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 3. And the largest power that I see amongst those two 3's is a 2. And finally, we have a 5, and it's squared. So what we have here is 8 times 9 times 25. Now, 8 times 25 is 200, and 200 times 9 is 1,800. So it seems to me that the LCD of these four fractions is 1,800. Let's go to example 4. Now, example 4 is a combination of numbers and algebraic expressions. And surprisingly, it's the numbers that might give us the most trouble. So let's do a prime factorization on those numbers, starting with the 6. 6 is 2 times 3. 18 is 2 times 9, or 2 times 3 squared. 15 is 3 times 5. Now at this time, I think we can construct our LCD. The first factor that I see is a 2. And the largest power I see amongst those 2's is a 1. The next factor that I see is a 3. And the largest power I see amongst those 3's is a 2. And we also have a 5. And the largest power I see of that 5 is a 1. And now I see an x. And the largest power I see amongst all those x's, we have x squared, we have x to the 5th and x to the 4th. Well, it's going to be x to the 5th. And now I see an x minus 2. I see it again here, and I see it again here. And so I'm going to write down x minus 2. And the largest exponent I see on any of those x minus 2 chunks is a squared. And there's still one more left, and that is x plus 3. So I'm going to write down x plus 3. And the largest power I see amongst those x plus 3 chunks is a 4. So this is our LCD. It's, it's kind of a long one. We have 2 times 9, which is 18, and 18 times 5 is 90. We have x to the 5th. We have x minus 2 squared. And we've got x plus 3 to the 4th. So I hope after watching this short video that you now have an idea of what it takes to figure out the LCD when you're dealing with trying to add or subtract rational expressions.